One of my favorite modifications for any car is to install a short shifter. Aside from the steering wheel, the shifter is one of the most high touch parts of the car, so it only makes sense to have it perfect. Today we're swapping out the long and lazy stock shifter for a short and precise short shifter on my 2011 WRX. Alright, so this is a pretty easy mod to do in an hour or so. I'm going to start by removing the center console, which will allow me to then remove the trim piece around the shifter. I think you can do this without removing the console, but I'm not really in a time crunch, and this will free up some space to work in. It's just a couple screws holding the console on, so why not? I'll keep these screws in here for safekeeping. There is some wiring that goes to the seat heater switches, which doesn't allow us to remove the center console entirely, so I'll just rotate it out of the way. Moving on to the shift knob, which is covered in this really nasty and rubbery faux leather. We'll replace that too. It just unscrews and the shift boot slides off the bottom. Then we can snap the trim piece off and move it out of the way. Underneath we see this old school accordion style shift boot. This rubber in the foam underneath serves to dampen some of the sound from the transmission, which on this car can actually be pretty noisy. Now we have our first look at the actual shifter. We'll remove the bolt that attaches the shifter to the shift rod, which then frees us up to get at the retaining clip in the ball and socket below. So. Oftentimes when working on cars, it really pays off to have the right tool for the job. I say this because I don't have the right tool for the job, and it's a real pain. Instead of a retaining tool, I have to screw around with these wire cutters and trying to get this retaining clip out. But while it wasn't ideal, it did get the job done. This was the first time it didn't take me 20 minutes to get it out, and you can hear my surprise. Next step is yanking the shifter out of its socket, making sure not to lose any o-rings in the process. The short shifter I've gone with is an adjustable model. I've had one of these in an old car and I really liked the customization. I'll show you that in just a second. First I'll steal the bushings out of the stock shifter. Luckily the previous owner had replaced all the bushings related to the gear shift, so I don't have to dig too far in the car to change out those. Here you can see kind of a side-by-side -side comparison of the stock versus the short shifter. This shifter is adjustable both for the length of the throw, that is how far it is to shift from gear to gear, and the shifter height. I'll bring the throw just a little bit shorter than out of the box. Then I have a custom piece of friend machine for me, which will bring the shift knob a bit closer to the steering wheel. Time for a little lube. Some white lithium grease goes in the ball, and then I'll slide on the polyurethane socket and its corresponding O-rings. The shifter then drops back in with a really satisfying noise before we get back to the retaining clip. 
This was a bit easier going in than it was coming out because we could kind of use the shifter to lever it in there. Next, we'll reattach the bolt that connects the shifter to the shift arm, being careful not to over tighten this as it might make shifting a little bit stiffer than we want it to be. Then it's super easy to get everything all buttoned up. We'll drop the sound deadening material back on top of the shifter. And then on goes the shifter surround and shift boot. I'll definitely want to replace that plastic looking shift boot in the future. We'll lower the center console back down and then screw back in the three screws that hold it in place. Back on goes the e-brake boot, and for the coup de gras, a new shift knob. I'm really pleased with how this turned out. It makes all the difference when you're driving around town and shifting constantly to have that short shifter. You can check out a comparison between stock and short in this clip here. Of course, the short shifter is a little bit off to the left thanks to that custom piece. And hey, thanks for watching this video. Also, thanks for all the nice comments on other videos I've made. Those always make my day when I see them. I'll see you next time. Until then, take care.